Hello, this is Sebastian from Native Instruments. In this video, we will show you how to record your mixes using Traktor's Mix Recorder. The Mix Recorder module is available on Traktor Pro 2 and Traktor Scratch Pro 2. It is not available in LE versions of the software. The Mix Recorder is located in the right-hand side of Traktor's global section. It shares its space with Traktor's Effects Unit number 2 and can be toggled by clicking on the cassette icon. If you can't see the global section, open the preferences and go to the global settings menu. Tick show global section to make it visible. Internal recording is the simplest recording setup in Traktor. Here, the signal coming from the decks through the software's main output will be captured directly by the mix recorder without the need of routing the audio externally. To configure Traktor for internal mix recording, go to the output routing menu in the preferences. Here, make sure that the mixing mode is set to internal. Next, go to the mix recorder menu and make sure that the recording source is likewise set to internal. Now when you play your tracks, the mix recorder will register the main output, that is, the mix of the signals from any deck playing with the volume fader and crossfader open. Adjust the gain level if necessary by turning the gain knob. Make sure that the level is not clipping. Now all you need to do is press the record button and the recording will begin. Press the button again when you want to stop the recording. In an external mixing setup, the audio signal of each deck will be routed independently into individual channels of an external hardware mixer via an audio interface. This means that for the mix recorder to capture the audio source, the output of the hardware mixer must be routed back in the software, again via the audio interface. Note that the audio interface must be equipped with at least two output channels and an input channel. In this example, we will use the Traktor Audio 10 as our external audio interface in a two-deck A and B setup. For this setup, the mixing mode in the output routing menu of the preferences must be set to external. Here, you also need to make sure that each output deck, in this case deck A and deck B, is routed to the correct output channel on your external audio interface. The routing will be set correctly by default in most cases, as we can see here for the output channels A and B. Now connect the output channels OUT3 and 4 for channel A and OUT5 and 6 for channel B into the line inputs of two of your external mixer's channels. Your mixer should now be able to register the audio signals when you load and play your tracks on deck A or B. Note that the software's volume faders are missing since we are in external mixing mode. For the mix signal to be recorded, connect the RCA output of your mixer, which is usually the rec or recording output, into a free input channel of the audio interface. Make sure that this input channel is set to line and not phono by enabling the corresponding input sensitivity in the audio interface's control panel. In this example, we are connecting the mixer's output to in 7 and 8 of channel C, which is set to line. Next, go to the input routing menu of the preferences and assign channel C's inputs 7 and 8 to the input routing pair input effects send ext. Now, Traktor is configured to receive the external signal from the mixer via the audio interface's input channel. To complete the setup, the mix recorder needs to receive the audio source externally. Therefore, go to the mix recorder menu and set the recording source to external. In the external input drop-down menu below, 
choose Input FX Send Ext. Now, when you play a track on deck A or B, and the crossfader and the corresponding channel fader on the hardware mixer are open, the mix recorder will register the external signal. You can now hit the record button to start your recording. Once you're done with your mix, hit the record button again to stop the recording. Tractor will automatically create a WAV file of the recording with the timestamp as file name. The recorded mixes can be found in the audio recordings playlist of Tractor's browser. Through this playlist, you can view, load and play the recorded files which are stored on your hard drive under the default path. On Mac, this is Music, Tractor, Recordings. On Windows, it is My Documents, My Music, Tractor, Recordings. If you wish, you can customize this path under Directory in the Mix Recorder menu of the Preferences. Additionally, you may define a prefix which will be attached to the beginning of each generated recording file, and you can choose the file size at which Tractor will create a new file, so your recording will be split in more than one file. This can be useful if you plan to burn your recording to hardware media such as CDs or DVDs, since they can only hold a limited amount of data. Alternatively, you can press the cut button in the mix recorder while recording to split your recording on the fly. We have learned how to record a mix internally and externally in Tractor. Note that you can access your recorded files directly in the recording folder of your hard drive. In this way, you can copy or share your mixes as well as further process them with additional audio tools. Yeah.